copy. The engines are starting. Yeah, I'm aware of that. This isn't going very well. Why Jeremy Renner didn't return after Mission Impossible 5. Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol changed the core team of the franchise. Along with Tom Cruise's Ethan Hunt, new members like Simon Pegg's Benji, Jeremy Renner's special agent William Brandt, and Paula Patton's Jane Carter were added to the franchise. Benji became a regular character for the franchise as he appeared in Mission Impossible Rogue Nation and Mission Impossible Fallout. He is set to return in MI7 and 8 as well. Because I feel like Benji, every time we see him, he's moved on a little bit. You know, he's been through more. But Jane Carter hasn't been seen in the last two films. Instead, Rebecca Ferguson's Ilsa Faust has replaced her. Paula Patton was amazing in her own right, but it would be fair to say that Ilsa Faust is better. As for William Brandt, he was actually added in Ghost Protocol as a future replacement for Cruise. But since Cruise is extremely popular, this change didn't happen. What's done is done when we say it's done. This was the second time Jeremy Renner failed to become a franchise carrier, as he just couldn't do enough to impress the audience as much as the previous franchise leads. He tried it with the Bourne franchise, but Legacy didn't have the kind of impact that Identity Supreme or Ultimatum did. In Rogue Nation, Renner got to play a supporting role, but his involvement was certainly smaller compared to Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Who are you really, Brant? We all have our secrets. Don't we, Ethan? Maybe he could have done more, but Luther had to get a 4x4 in a high-speed chase. Anyway, his absence in Mission Impossible Fallout surprised many. The reason why he didn't return then was because of his Endgame commitments. Back in 2017, Marvel was shooting Infinity War and Endgame simultaneously, so Renner was involved with that. Before that, he was filming Tag, so he couldn't commit to MI6. Because Tom Cruise got injured during the filming of Fallout, you down. Now anyone else will go, well that's over. No! <laughs> Up he gets! Its production was delayed even further, so Renner could have faced some serious trouble, even if he was available for Fallout's production. Ultimately, Christopher McQuarrie had no choice but to write William Brandt out of the story. But the good thing is that he did it in a way that would allow Brandt to return in the future. To fill the void of Jeremy Renner, he brought in Henry Cavill's August Walker. I prefer a hammer. Although the idea to kill off Renner's character did cross his mind. If Renner would have accepted to film a scene for a couple of days, then William Brandt would have died sacrificing himself to save Hunt and Co. But Renner was smart in this situation. Upon being asked for this part, he said thanks, but no thanks. He kept the door open for his return. Fans are surprised as to why he isn't set to return in Mission Impossible 7. Mission Impossible 7 and 8 have been filming simultaneously for the past few months, and Renner wasn't involved with its production. As of now, he is involved with the filming of his upcoming Hawkeye series on Disney+, so the chances of William Brandt's return in MI7 or 8 are very low. Part 8 is where the franchise will end. We would have liked for every story arc to be tied up by then. You're not gonna make it! You're not helping. But William Brandt's plot thread will probably remain dangling. Let's see if the next two Mission Impossible films will address Brandt's absence in some way. But even if it doesn't, there's a chance that he could return to the franchise after Cruz is done with it. Would you like to see the Avengers actor return to the MI franchise beyond Mission Impossible 8? Tell us in the comments! And make sure that you like and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube for more exclusive content. That helps us a lot! Thanks! We'll see you in the next one!